Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741951616097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail, and then you can find uh, a hotmail.com. Find the Facebook link in the description below. Title of this video is like, uh, you know, Image Comics, you have failed. Uh, I might change it a little bit. might add some other companies like Aftershock and Heavy Metal and this company, Source Point Press. Um, Dynamite certainly is on that list. Uh, I've got other companies as well. Including Dark Horse. Let me show you some Dark Horse comics over here that would be on that list. There's Dark Horse. They're on that list. Uh, DC Comics certainly is. Marvel certainly is. Uh, I think pretty much every comic out there. Behemoth certainly is. Like I said, um, Dynamite Publishing certainly is on that list. You probably wonder what that list is. Well, let's go back over here to this week's new comics. Had somebody in last night, and he was asking me about this comic here. Can you tell me what this name of this comic is? He was asking, and he had uh, he asked me, and he's like, "Do you have any other Demons Quarterly?" I go, "That's not Demons Quarterly." And I'm like looking on the cover. It's like, well, there must be something that tells you what the actual name of the comic is here, right? I mean, this is the comic. This is this is the selling point. This is the book that makes people want to pick it up. This is this this is your this is your again. This this makes you the people want to pick this comic up because of this here, and they look at it and say, oh, well, you know what? Geez, this is Teen Titans. This is Detective Comics. This is Batman Fortress. This is Aquaman. This is Spider-Man 2099. This is Moon Knight. This is Devil's Reign. This is Punisher. This is Darth Maul. This is all new Firefly. This is Beyond. This, what's the name of this book? It's not Devil's Quarterly. As you look. Doesn't tell you anything about the name of the comic. What number is this comic? Where's the number at? I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can show me the number on this cover. I'll give you ten thousand dollars if you can show me the number on this cover. You can't. I'll give you ten thousand dollars if you can show me the name or the number on the back cover. We looked. I had another customer in, and I showed it to him as well. Tells you what cover it is, but doesn't tell you. There's nothing on this book that tells you what the name and what the and what the issue number is. Hence, Image Comics, you failed. In fact, Image Comics, you don't even have your logo on this book. What kind of a publisher are you, Image Comics? Eric Stevenson. What kind of a publisher are you? Your books don't have your names on them. Uh, the art director, the so-called art director, Drew Gill. What kind of art director are you? Because let me show you something, Drew. Let me clue you in, Drew. See these comics up here? What issue, what if is that? 13. What issue is that Hawk and Dove? Spirit, number 16. Turok, 228. Man-Thing, 5. 2 and one 3. Magic, 1. 3, 2. Classics Illustrated, 105. Patriotica, 3. You know, what, you know what these all have in common? They've got their numbers on it, and then also they have what the company is. Now these are more modern Marvels. Their logos are at the bottom. 
the numbers and comp, comp number and the company names at the bottom should be in the right hand corner. See this here? See this here? See this? Look. Modeling with Millie 53. Amazing Spider Man 245. Marvel Features 3. Look, Marvel, DC, Dell, Gold Key, DC, DC, DC. Here you get IDW. It's on the top, but it should be on the right. Somebody uh, had a uh, comment a few a few uh, uh, videos ago and said, why do you order them? You must hate your job. I don't hate my job. I'm very passionate about my comics. I've been doing this for damn near 37 years. I've been reading comics my entire life, damn near, since I was, I can go back to when I was three, remember reading comics. I'm passionate about comics. I want people, I want my customers to be able to find comics. You know what, the, uh, go into a bookstore, go look at Better Homes and Gardens, Guns and Ammo, Car and Driver, Red Book, Reader's Digest, Time, Sports Illustrated, uh, Rolling Stone Magazine, uh, any of those magazines. Where are the logos? Logos are at the top. Why are the logos at the top? Because the publishers want the people to find what they're looking for. What's this book here? What is that book? Oh, it's Saga. You know, here you've got this dynamite. This was covered up. What was that? Oh, it's 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 naked. It's naked girl comics. Here, what's that book? Rise. Rise what? Rise of Dracula, source point. This here. Oh, do you have the new issue of Heavy Metal Elements? Uh, no, I don't. Darren, I was looking for Heavy Metal Elements, Swamp God. Hidden at the bottom. Did you got the new Naughty List from Aftershock? Mm, I'm not sure. Oh, hidden at the bottom. But these companies do this all the time. We go back to this book. What is this book? You know what this comic is? It's a new issue of Hell Cop. Jim Valentino. This is uh, this is under your shadow line, right, Jim? You've been doing this long enough, Jim. How you've been in the business for over 30 years. Have your people get their act together, Jim. Perhaps you're not happy with your sales or your book. You know why? Because if people can't find your book, they're not buying it. That's why you fail, Image. That's why you fail. And that's why Aftershock and Dynamite and Heavy Metal and Source Point and Vault Comics and so many others. That's why you guys fail. Got a new issue of Ice Cream Man came in this week. I've got a copy up here. Can you, can you show me the new issue of Ice Cream Man? I mean, I don't have it alphabetical. But look, oh, here's Ice Cream Man. You wouldn't know it. It's got the image I right there, but it should be prominent right there. You've, you wouldn't know it because they put the logo at the bottom. Issue number, price, everything at the bottom. Absolute no reason why that can't be at the top. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. You guys failed. I used to have good sales on Ice Cream Man. My sales have dropped off because people can't find your book. They're not buying it. Not everybody will ask their retailer where, where it is. And there's people, I've had people ask me where comics are, and it's taken me several times looking to find them myself because they're at the bottom. This book here, even though I've got it set aside, you still can't tell that it's radiant red. You still can't tell it's radiant red. There's absolutely no reason. Pull that image down. Get, Drew. Pull that image down. Have them pull that image down and put the logo at the top. Quit hiding the logos, man. That Moon Knight, that's not quite as bad, but put it at the top there. You can have it. You can have the logo behind this gun here. No problem. They've done it for decades upon decades upon decades. This book here from DC. Can you tell me what this comic is? Based on a popular character, can you tell me what this comic is? You can't, because they hid the logo at the bottom. This comic here, what's this comic? Oh, it's keep... Oh, they put, they put the logo on the back cover, exactly where it belongs. Titan, that's on you. 
Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop. It's on the on the back cover. Oh, let's go back over here. What's this Dark Horse comic? At least they've got the got their got their little logo there. They've got it's Apache Delivery Service. Zero reason. Zero. Zero reason it could be right there. Zero reason. Mike Richardson. Dude, you've been in business damn near as long as I've been in business. You are smarter than that, Mike. Smarter than that. You guys want to send your covers to me for approval? I'll, 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 I'll tell you. I'll help your companies out. I am 100% serious. Tell you whether or not, yeah, that's good cover placement. No, that's bad. Change that. That's bad. Because this industry, this industry needs help. And the people that are running the industry are clueless. They're clueless. You know, this book here, you know what this book is? I'll tell you what, I'm even going to give you an extra clue. I'll remove that. Can you tell me what that book is? What that comic is right there? It's Image. It's their anniversary issue. Hidden at the bottom. Hidden at the bottom. Covers. Covers are supposed to make you want to pick up these comics. I mean, look at that X-Men cover up there by Jim Lee. Look at those Frank Miller covers. Look at that What If Wolverine Killed the Hulk. Look at those Mr. Miracles by Jack Kirby. Those are covers that you want to pick up. Look at that cover by, by Gil Kane. Look at that martial law cover. Covers that, that make you want to pick them up and not walk past them. Not walk past them like this. Like this cover here. You did not do a single retailer any favors by putting that cover out, Image. Image Comics, you failed. You failed. Here's another company that fails. What's the name of this comic? I asked this to several people yesterday. It's like, oh, this Hungry Earth, Red and Thunders. I'm like, no, no, it's not. It's The Rush. Vault Comics, you're too clever for your own good. And look at that one there. Oh, it's This Hungry Earth. No, you're too clever for your own good. I will say, at least you guys have, have this information right here. That's good. That's the A cover. But there's the B cover. I am on the verge of no longer ordering B covers from the Rush. They're still sitting there, aren't they? They're still sitting there because people walked past them. You cost me sales, Vault. You cost, you cost me sales. Well, you got sales. You got money from me. But you cost me sales, Vault. This here. Oh, look. It's another issue of Heavy Metal Elements. Oh, it's the rise. Somebody might have been looking for that rise issue, walked right past it. Because they're not going to say, oh, I bet that might be the rise. Because people don't know their alphabet these days. This here, this Xenoscope, what's this? Again, I've even got that cover mostly shown. Hidden at the bottom, Van Helsing's Annual. Xenoscope, you failed with this cover. You failed. It's just crazy how these companies just are clueless. Absolutely just clueless on how to present and how to design covers. Again, what's this book here? What's this comic here? That's the new issue of Ice Cream Man, issue 30. You've got all that information there, which is cool. Just put it over here. Just put it over there. The artist needs to do a better job. The creators need to do a better job. Drew needs to do a better job. You've got your little, it's a 30th anniversary image. you got that hidden down there like you're ashamed of it. Put it at the top, right there. That's your everything. You should have... The, what, what the company's, company's names should be on the upper left-hand corner. AWA, you failed. That should be over here. You All this information here, no reason. No reason why it can't be put right there. 
this is this is a video that I'm doing to hopefully wake and hopefully clue some of you guys in at some of these companies. I want to sell your comics. I want to sell dozens and dozens of your comics. But by what you're doing, I'm selling barely any at all. Because people can't find the product they're looking for. They can't find your product because you're trying to be like Vault Comics. You're trying to be too clever for your own good. You're sitting around and, and, and congratulating everybody. Oh, that's a really great cover. Somebody needs to have the balls to stand up and say, no, that cover's bad. You need to quit surrounding yourself with yes men. And you need to surround yourself with people who are going to be honest with you. And help you sell more copies of your comics. Heavy Metal. I, I think it's great. You've got your comics, $2.99. But you're not doing me any favors at all by doing that. But that's enough of my rant for now. Please... Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notification, like, comment, and please share. Share this video on Image Comics Facebook, share it on Vault's Facebook, share it on Aftershock, on Xenoscope, on SourcePoint, on Dynamite, on, on Dark Horse, on Marvel, on DC. Maybe somebody, maybe some of these overpriced, overpaid individuals that are art directors will actually get a clue and improve their comics, improve the covers. Because again, look at these covers. Logos at the top, logos at the top, numbers, numbers on the side. Covers that pop. John Byrne, John Byrne knew how to do covers. Jack Kirby, Kirby knew how to do covers. Gil Kane, Kurt Swan. Those editors back then, Marv Wolfman, Len Wein, Archie Goodwin, Roy Thomas, Jim Shooter, they would never allow stuff like that to happen. But other than that, everybody have a good new comics day, and I hope to be able to sell a lot more copies of Ice Cream Man and Hell Cop, not Demon Quarterly, because Image Comics, you failed.